Welcome back. You have landed on the channel of the Ebb Fats, a Championship Manager 0102 channel. And we generally do saves, tips, hints, everything you need to in, enhance your enjoyment of the game. Um, as you can see, we are looking at an AC Milan squad page there. So this is episode two of the Trey Tulipani save. A quick uh, rundown for you. It is a challenge from the Championship Manager 0102 forum um, and it revolves around AC Milan and the team that they had in the late 1980s um, which was basically an all Italian side um, with three Dutchmen and those three Dutchmen being Rutelet, Marco van Basten and Frank Rijkaard. So the challenge is to replicate that on the April 2022 database um, have a, a whole Italian squad for AC Milan apart from three Dutchmen and then see how far you can go. See if you can win the league, do well in Europe, top scorer, um, lots of different stipulations to earn yourself points. Um, if you do want to have a go at this challenge, do log on to the uh, Champman forums. That's champman0102.net and there's uh, over 40 different challenges for you to try there. So, as I mentioned, this is episode two of the challenge. Um, the first one um, just set up the scene and then away from camera I have run the first season. So this will give us a, a little overview of what happened in that first season. Um, what you'll probably see without uh, much input is that we finished second. So we finished second to uh, City Rivals Inter. Um, it was a tough season, it was a good season. Um, there are no point scoring in this season so uh, it was essentially just the time to try and sell off all the overseas players and then find your three Dutchmen. Um, what I haven't managed to do is either of those things. So I haven't managed to sell all the foreigners as yet and I also haven't managed to sign three Dutchmen. Um, we have probably two months to be able to rectify that though with the uh, window opening again. Um, but yeah, second place was a decent result for us. Um, we were kind of fourth going into the last five or six games of the season um, but went on a decent run. We beat Juventus to kind of take them out of the uh, run, of the title run. Um, but we just couldn't get over the line. Inter are very strong on this database. Uh, they will be our main rivals next season as well. Um, so what we'll do then is just a quick video this one is just run through the transfers that I made so far, um, show you who's at the club for next season um, and then see where we're going. First thing I'll just remind you is looking at the values there. What I'm using is the starter kit from John Betts, which is also available on champman0102.net. Um, but that through Nick's patcher inside the starter kit will allow you to um, up the finances on the account. So for example, if someone is worth a million, what I have done is multiplied that by four in game. So they would show as a four million pound player. 10 million pound player which shows a 40 million pound player so on and so forth so these figures are probably higher than some may be used to um, if they're odb players or if they don't use the patches so anyway we'll run through who we have managed to sign so far um, the first player to come through the door was andrea pinamonte and he was my striker and he did very well 35 goals for me in the season. Very good striker came in from uh, Inter actually uh, but he was out on loan at Empoli but yeah I managed to uh, sign him. Next in the door someone else who went on the transfer list Manuel Locatelli. So he was a Sassuolo man um, on loan at Juventus um, but he decided to go on the transfer list from Sassuolo um, and then we managed to sign him up for just 15 million pounds. That was a very good signing. Daniele Rugani from Juventus. 
just five million pounds hasn't actually played that well um, in terms of average rating um, but is a very good a very good defender Roberto Gagliardini another one coming in from Inter another Italian international and another very good addition to the squad Alessandro Florenzi he starts the game on loan at Milan from Roma so we just made that a permanent signing and um, very experienced 31 year old 46 caps for Italy and he ended up being a backup really Davide Santon came in also from Roma he would have been again just a backup fullback um, but a decent player Gian Giacomo Magnani just the four games so he was again a backup central defender um, him coming in allowed me to sell off um, a foreign one Rolandro Mandragora from Juventus um, another Italian international just the one cap eight million pounds 11 appearances over the season did okay in them Leonardo Spinazzola again from Roma again an Italian international seven million pounds after he decided to go on the transfer list as well Emerson started the game out on loan at Leon um, I waited until when did I sign him yeah just after January um, and a nine million pound deal brought him to the club so as you can see just those two have given us left back tied down for the season the first Dutchman is Josh Zerksy so he starts on loan at Anderlecht again I've waited until January just to see how he was doing at Anderlecht he was doing pretty well 10 and 15 so in he came um, for 18.75 million pounds he's not yet started a game but he has grown a little and he is probably ready to replace Pinamonte up front um, next season Jorginho came in for 25 million pounds so he shores up uh, defensive midfield and that will probably allow me to move Sandro Tonoli who's already in the squad forward a little bit more for next season apologies on his squad number there that will be changing over the summer final man to come in Cody Gakpo I must have put in probably about 25 bids for this guy kept getting rejected so then I go back maybe a month later try again um, finally PSV came back and said look stop bothering me if you offer me 80 million he's yours that is what I did he is the second of my Dutchman and he will probably play just in behind my one striker um, not the best start to his Milan career I must say but there we are if we look at players out um, breeze through these um, Alga was the first to go Young Dahl backup keeper Lazatic backup striker done very well Kalulu he's gone back to France Teo Hernandez Leeds were the ones who uh, stumped up the near 25 million pounds to take him off our hands Zlatan went to Red Star and started very well there Sailor Makers Everton were the one who stumped up the 30 million for him there Yasin Adli Balotouro Anti Rebic 28 million pounds I would have liked him to have gone out of Serie A but 
There we are. Castellejo. He's gone to Turin. Emil Roback went to Bologna. No goals for that striker. Olivier Giroud went to Liverpool. Got one goal in seven substitute appearances. Nikolaos Michaelis was sold for a minimal fee. He was out of contract um, in July, so they decided to just make sure they got him and bought him in May, just before the window closed. And the final man to go out, Ishmael Benahir. And to Sporting, three assists in ten from defensive midfield for him. So that is the changes to the squad. Um, there are a few bids uh, still out there. Um, hopefully by the start of July or the end of July, certainly I'll have my third Dutchman. And we'll give you another update there. But for now, that is episode two. Just a short one for you, just to give you my transfer updates. Um, and I look forward to bringing you episode three pretty soon. Thanks for watching and let's continue keeping the game alive.